as we await a release of version 4 of the Elementor editor, which boasts an improvement in the responsive settings, here is one aspect that I hope they would also take into account, and that is the responsive hide or show depending on breakpoints. Here are a few GitHub reports about the issue. The first one says, trouble with responsiveness at browser with 767.57 pixels. And at the bottom, they gave him a suggestion that it could be due to browser zoom settings. There was another report which says, Elementor and Elementor Pro breakpoint issues at 767 pixels. There was some back and forth between several people, each one coming up with their own suggestions. And there has not been a resolution yet. But let me now go ahead and show you the actual problem. So let's see it visually. So I'll come over to an Elementor edit page. I have three heading widgets here. The first one I wanted to only show on desktop. So I'll go to advanced. Then I'll come down to the responsive settings. And I will just say hide on tablet and hide on mobile. So that it is showing only on desktop. Go to the next one, which is tablet. And I'll do the same thing. Responsive. I'll say hide on desktop and mobile, so it only shows on tablet. The last one for mobile, same thing. Go to the responsive settings under the advanced tab and say hide on desktop and hide on tablet. And then go ahead and publish it. So now, in the preview, you can see only the desktop version is showing, which is what we expect. And now go ahead and inspect it. And I use the responsive dimensions and just start going down. So the first breakpoint is around 1024. So 102, when we go to 5 first, it is still showing on desktop. If I go down to 1024, it switches no problem to the tablet view. Okay. So now the next one is supposed to be 767 pixels. So let me go to 769. It is showing on tablet only, which is what to expect. Now let's are going down. 768. Then 767. And you see, all of our responsive settings that we set up, at the 767 breakpoints, everything just shows up. And why is that? Well, the problem is quite simple. It is due to how Elementor fundamentally handles breakpoints. Elementor uses this system of trying to like isolate each breakpoint as a separate entity. So tablet breakpoint, the mobile breakpoints, the desktop breakpoints. So they use this mean width, max width media query. But the trouble with mean width and max width media query is that at the boundary between the mean width and the previous mean width, there's always a problem. So let me go ahead and show you what exactly I mean. So at this breakpoint, I'll go ahead and right click, inspect the desktop version. Let's just go up one breakpoint higher. So you now come to this, and this is the container where the responsive settings are. You can see Elementor Hidden Tablet, Elementor Hidden Mobile. So those class names were added, and here it is. It says media main width. 768 pixels and max width 1024 pixels. So between these 768 pixels and the previous 767 pixels, which is what the responsive hide on mobile is, then you get the problem. Because let me go ahead and just inspect it so you can see all of them. So this is how Elementor sets up their responsive breakpoint settings. So they say at max width 767 pixels display none, then main width 768, max width 1024 pixels, display none. So this is where it's causing the problem. So between these 767 pixels and the 768 pixels, that boundary, there is a problem. And that's because Elementor is not doing this cascade. Like I said, Elementor is trying to like isolate them. Here is a different example using a different builder and see how they tackle the situation. So I come to this builder. The same thing I'm going to do now with the headings, but the other is a little different. So now I want to show this on desktop only. 
So what I will do is just simply come down to the display. So I'll just search for, because you can see right now, so just search for display. On that layout, you see this display. I just use the search at the bottom to quickly get to the settings. Now I'll say on desktop, I want it to show. So I'll use any of these displays apart from display none. Because that's what that responsive setting does. It just literally says display none on that specific breakpoint. So for this one, I want to, to show on desktop. So on desktop, I'll leave it at the default display, which is block. Then on tablet, I want it to be hidden. So I'll now come to display and see that I want it to be display none. So the way Bricks works is that it goes, like I said, in a cascade. So once you've set it up for tablet, that works for all the breakpoints that goes below it. So if you go to the mobile landscape, it will still be hidden. If you go to the mobile, it will be hidden because it cascades down. When you come back to the desktop version, it is there. So I'll come to the tablet breakpoint and we'll do the same thing. So for this one, I'll say that I want on the style, the layout, and we'll go to the display, which should be down here under miscellaneous. I'll say I want it to be displayed on, on the desktop version, but then on the portraits, I want it to have the regular display, which is block. And then the next breakpoint, I want it to have display on again. So display on. Okay. Then for the mobile, I want it to only show on mobile. So for every other display, I want it to be display none. So what I'll come to, I'll come to the desktop. Then I'll search for my display and say, I want it to be display none. That will basically put display none on everything. But I want it to show on mobile. So I'll now come back to the mobile version. So the mobile breakpoints, I'll come back to this display and say, no, I don't want it to be display none anymore. I want it to be display block. And it comes back. Let me save this and we'll go ahead and preview it on the front end. So like we see, let me go ahead and show you the breakpoints. If you come here, the breakpoints, this is a base. It is 991 for their own breakpoints. Whereas with Elementor, it was 1024 pixels and then 767 pixels. So let's go and check that one. So this is desktop only. If I inspect it and then I'll go to Maybe 993. See, it is desktop only. Let's keep going down now. 992, 991. And then when we go below that, it shows only the tablet. It doesn't have any other thing showing. There's nothing broken. If I now go to the mobile breakpoint, which is the 76, let me go to 769. See, it's still showing the tablet. Now I go down a bit. 768, still showing tablet. 767, see showing tablet, but the moment I go below that, 766, it switches to the mobile and only shows the mobile one. So there is nothing broken in between breakpoints. And that's because bricks is more controlled. So you have to specifically state what you want to show on each breakpoint. This is what I mean. See, the display, it is you that control it. Whereas with Elementor, all you have the option to do is say hide on desktop, hide on mobile. And the hide on desktop is like a separate isolated thing from the hide on tablet, from the hide on mobile. Whereas with bricks, they use less code because you just slip very say hide on desktop and that will just hide on every breakpoint until the breakpoint that you want it to show. You now go to that breakpoint and say show. And with the show, you have more options. So rather than just saying only show, you can now say I want to show it as a block you can see here, you can choose to show it as a block. You can choose to show it as a flex, inline flex, inline block, inline, or the none. So those are the two things that I want Elementor to do. Basically, get rid of this responsive show and hide thing here. Then instead, replace it with the display properties, which is usually like you can see on the container. This layout, flex, and grid. Maybe in future, they can now switch to the way Bricks does it. So we now have the option for each breakpoint to be able to decide if we want flex, we want grid, 
we want display block, we want display none, we want display a line or anything per breakpoint. Because those are the two limitations that Elementor has. You cannot change from flex to grid on a different breakpoint. They are all connected. If you change this to grid here, it will change to grid on every breakpoint. Same thing with the responsive settings. You cannot just say hide and it hides everywhere. You have to literally click hide on that tablet, hide on mobile, hide on desktop. And that is, in one way, it is nice, but the other way, it, it now makes it harder when we're doing these responsive settings and it basically generates more CSS. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and seen how we can improve. So those are just the two things I'm hoping Elementor will improve as they release their version 4 of the editor. If you have any other things that you want Elementor to improve in their editor, please do leave them in the comments. I believe at one point Elementor will be able to see the comments. If you have any issues, always report it on GitHub. I know it may seem that they are not responding, but they are actually responding. That's why if you go back to the issues, you would see that the number of closed issues is way more than the number of open issues because there are thousands of issues coming in their way. So it takes them time to be able to fix some of those issues. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.